What did you say? I said it's another week and we're starting another vlog in the car. <laughs> <laughs> this time you didn't hear Deja me. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah, and on the interstate. On the interstate. I think last week's vlog, uh, well, it might have not started it off in the car, but it was pretty close to the front of the video. It started off in the car. Um, but we are in the car, and we are headed to Lexington. I like it when Tammy talks in the car doing these because she's not watching me driving. Freaking out over there. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking just now off camera um, about games and I thought we would talk a little bit about it on camera because I love to play games. Games, uh, I grew up with a dad who liked to play games and so when when people ask you ask me uh, about memories with my dad, it's one of my memories with my dad is playing games. I'm paying attention to the driving. I had to go around that track. It was long slow. You had to go awfully fast to get around it. <laughs> to go around somebody who's he's going so slow. I think he did speed up. Some people don't like for you to go around them, so they speed up. Anyway, my dad loved to play games. So we played games. I remember, I mean, even up until my middle school years, my teenage years, growing up through adulthood, uh, he, if I asked him right now, we want to play a game, he would be like, heck yeah, let's play a game. No, because well, and Andrew was raised playing uh, card games and, and board games with your dad. I mean, yes. he did it in his old childhood. So, Andrew loves to play games, and Andrew's one of these people, too, where he doesn't like it, the fun to stop. Yeah. So. And he's very competitive. He is very competitive. So for me, when I'm playing a game, I play, and I don't care if I win or lose. I genuinely don't. I just enjoy the experience. So that's the same thing with bowling. I'm not good at bowling, but I enjoy getting to play. Even if, if I got a bunch of gutter balls, it was still fun to play. For me, if I'm uh, playing a game of sorry, and I lose, it doesn't matter because I just had fun playing that game of sorry and getting that experience. Although, if you get, she puts you, if you can put her back at Parcheesi, she will come after you. So don't let her think she's not competitive. Andrew's the worst. Andrew and Andrew, Ashley are the worst. Oh, listen, Andrew and Ashley and Parcheesi, they just burn you up because they're constantly putting you back home at Parcheesi. I love Parcheesi. Um, but we were, Kevin was talking about, we, We've been working our way through the blacklist, and it was funny because Reddington and what Dembe. was Dembe playing yeah, with Dembe him? Yeah, is the one that won. They, oh, okay, they were playing a game of Bananagrams, and they never said it was Bananagrams, but because we played Bananagrams with Ashley and Andrew, um, we knew it was Bananagrams. And uh, so Kevin was talking about the things that he likes about Bananagrams. Because yeah, I don't, I don't like Scrabble because you're sitting there waiting around, and then you feel this pressure to play this big word, you know, against other players, so you got more to play on. It's just too much pressure for me. So I like um, Bananagrams is like Scrabble, but you get your own basically Scrabble board. You play your own words, and if you got a three-letter word you want to work with, oh well, you got a three-letter word, you go for it. You know, you don't have to. Whereas worry about when it. you're playing with a bunch of people and you put down a three-letter oh, word, oh, then you hear everybody going, oh man, can't, I can't work, work on that. Can't work off that. Whereas yeah. you know, if you you have your own pieces, your everybody has their own pieces. It's a wonderful, wonderful yeah. game. It is it fun. Really is. Yeah, if you if you like Scrabble at all, you should try it out. But I was trying to think of. Like, See, but you said you were raised with board games yes. and games. My parents, we never, ever, ever played games. We had games, but I would play them with the neighborhood kids. I wouldn't, we, me, me and my parents, I don't think I ever played games. So, like, in our marriage, you brought in a Monopoly game. We still have it. Yeah. From, that was your parents' yeah. Monopoly but game. but they never played it. They it, never missed it. it. Was, they never asked for it because they was, never played it. Me and the neighbor kids would play that Monopoly game. It wasn't, um, it wasn't my parents. What I don't, other games did you get as a child? The only, the only game I I remember mom and dad sitting out playing was uh, Rummy, and it's when we were camping, and 
and um, usually they were playing with my uncle and aunt, not with, with the kids, you know. What about, did you own like a battleship as a kid? I own Battleship, uh, Trouble, tr we played Trouble a lot. Trouble, now see, I don't own that now, but Trouble's the one with the bubble in the, the middle. The bubble in the middle and you move around, it's kind of like. It's like, like sorry. Um, it's like, sorry, you it's more like Parcheesi. Yeah, you have to get your yeah, pieces Yeah, because in you home. land on somebody and put them back. It's more like Parcheesi, just yeah. a plastic thing. No, it's not as big. Did you have checkers? Um, yeah, but I never played checkers. But in Chinese checkers, we had that, but I didn't play that a lot either. I mean, occasionally. Like I said, it was with, there were four neighborhood kids, me and three other ones that would play pretty regularly. Right. Um, we would play board games, and, but Trouble was the big one. Um, and there was another one that had marbles that slid, like you had these little sliders that slid back and forth, the marbles you put on there. Right. Um, and if you dropped the mar, if you were the marble was the last one standing, you won. Um, we played that a lot. I remember you told me about Cat's Eye. Cat's Eye. And, and I had never heard of that until Kevin told me about that. Yeah, um, that was about it. We there was one that I had, and I haven't seen it. Um, Uno, of course. Since then, it was called, and you might not even know what I'm talking about, it was called Leverage. It was called Leverage, down. and it was like on a teeter totter. Oh. It was literally on a teeter totter. You had to put things on each and side. And you had to move strategically to where it didn't. Topple. Kind of like that Jenga game where you don't make them topple, except this was on a teeter totter, and you had to keep it level, and you didn't want it to go down or you would lose. Did you have like pickup sticks and easy stuff like that? Yeah, but that's a scene. That's you play all that on your own, you know. Right. Did you? Of course, have... I was an only child. I didn't have any brothers or sisters, so I watched a lot of TV. <laughs> right. Uh, and once I got a computer, all that stuff was out the window. What about games like um, Old Maid and Go Fish? I think I played that with my grandma, my grandmother, but, but I don't remember playing that. With, like I said, my parents. We never played games. I mean, ever. I don't. I don't ever remember ever playing games with my parents. Right. That's why I talked about it during a but, vlog. We've tried to play games with my parents. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. You More can't. recently, you can't. You can't. They. We They're tried, just not game people. We tried to play. I talked about this a couple of weeks ago because I was talking about how I have the um, on the community page. I've been asking these would you rather questions, and it's for fun. People. It's take it not, too serious. People take it too seriously. It's, it's like, I would do neither. That's not the option. That's not the option. You don't have a choice. You have to pick one of those two things or you die instantly. Yes, that's the, yes. That's that's the gist of and would I you rather. And I can't type that out to people. If I can't say, I can't type that out. If you have a gun to your head, you have to choose one. That's the rules. I haven't ever typed that out because it would look bad if I typed that out. But that's the rules of the game. <laughs> that's the that's uh, what's fun about it is you you're actually forced to pick one of yes, those. Yes, and people don't get that. But that's why I was saying I used your parents as an example for apples to apples. We could not play apples to apples with these people because they took it so so seriously. And it's like it's a game. Just pick one. The world's not going to end if you pick one. You know. Um, that reminds me of another game. Uh, we, my dad would work uh, from eight at night, and he was a, a sergeant on the police department, and he would work from eight at night until four in the morning, and uh, four or five o'clock in the morning. And so, mom, I can remember me and mom and Jennifer. They had a big king size bed, and we would we would sleep with her a lot of times on the nights that he worked. And, uh, or at least start out in there. And we would play a game called uh, Truth, Dare, Housetop, or Opinion. So, Truth or Dare, Truth or Dare was just Truth or Dare. Opinion, honestly, was just give your opinion about something. It was just like, that was the safest like if you want to learn more about somebody, you might ask them their opinion on a harder subject. Um, and then, but but housetop, I always loved housetop because housetop. Andrew liked that too. Yes, Andrew likes housetop because housetop was okay. And this is a verbal game. And this is, you hate it. You hate the options. The, this is a verbal game, so you don't have to have any. You're making it all up in your head. Everything's in your head. So you know what truth or dare is. But a housetop would be like if if your house is on fire. 
I'm going to name these people or these animals or whatever, and you can only pick one to get off the top of the burning roof. And so, it's kind of like would you rather with people. Would you rather with people? Yeah, we're playing games with people. So we would always do it with like friends and family members, you know. So we would, mom would ask us, okay, you know, if like we had dogs named like Buddy and Max. If Buddy and Max were on top of the roof. Or, and if it was between um, uh, your dad or Jennifer or whatever, you know, and then you have to name. And you could give reasons. There could be a reason like, well, this person's really young, and I know they could get off the roof themselves, so I'm going to pick this other person that's more feeble. Or it could be just like, well, I can't stand that person, so we're going to leave them up there, and we're going to get somebody. But that was a game that we used to play as a kid, too. Never did that. Um, you never did that with your... Did you never play truth or dare with your parents? No. Never. I'm telling you, but what I remember of my childhood with my parents was literally mom read, she would sit on the couch and read, dad would come, come home and he would watch TV, and uh, I was the remote control, because we didn't have remote controls back then, I was the remote, and uh, I would sit literally on the floor and watch TV uh, while we were watching TV, or I would uh, read a book next to mom. And that's it. That's all I remember doing. We didn't really go play games or anything like that. We didn't do, I guess, family time or whatever. We just didn't do that kind of stuff. Two more games that we played. Um, and this, Kevin and I have played as adults. Hide and go seek. Oh, with a dog? With adults. We've played it with the dog. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we have played it with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you we would love do, it. We did play and it the, with, And the grandkids. We did play it with Guido. We would play with Guido, and I bet a lot of you play with your animals, too. Um, go hide and make a noise. Go hide. Like, we would get behind a door, and make, I would make a noise, and Guido would be like, where did she go? Where did she go? And he would literally run in each room and look around. Yeah, he would look. Where is she? Where is she? And then when Hilarious. he would find me, I'd jump out, and I'd go, wee, you found me. And, and then he'd run me. off. He'd oh, get the... He'd he'd get get the get um, What's that called? The runnies or not the runnies? The <laughs> not whatever. The runnies. Please don't let it no, be the it's runnies. The, <laughs> the, it's a, there's a word. It's a cute word. I can't remember what it's called. Where he would get excited. Yeah, and run around in circles. Um, okay, so we played hide and go seek. I can remember being a teenager in the house that we're in playing hide and go seek with other relatives. Like, like my aunt and uncle would come over. Uh, from Lexington and we would play hide and go seek in that house with them in the dark. Oh, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, and then another game we would play and I love doing this uh, with Gavin and Amelia too is just um, Hiding something all over the house and they have to find them or in it, it's it's your traditional like Easter egg hunt, except it's like an indoor Easter egg hunt. So, are you not going to get off there? Is what it not closer to go this way? I thought it was closer to get off that way. Anyway, I can remember when Andrew and Christina first got married. Andrew went to he went to like the Dollar Tree or something. And he bought a bunch of something, like maybe like little colorful erasers or something like that. I don't remember what it was. He would. And he hid them all over their apartment. Now, this is before they had, you know, any kids. He hid them all over their apartment for Christina to find just because it's just fun. Oh, sorry. I'm like, blocking the yeah, I'm blocking the mirror. But, um, my parents did that to us. Um, I can remember uh, Kevin and I, uh, as adults with kids, older kids, you remember going over there for like Easter dinner and them having eggs hidden around the house and them saying in one egg is like a $20 bill or something like that. There's a golden egg. And whoever can find that golden egg, it, there's money inside of it. And so all the adults, it, it gave you something to do while mom was cooking, um, to go around. Yeah, it's not like they had a big backyard. They have well, our yard. Well, the, but they hit them in the house, too. That's what I'm saying. They hit them in the house because the yard's so tiny. Exactly. We, I did a scavenger hunt for you once a long he time did. ago, years ago, like when we first got 
married and I've never done it again because I'm not a romantic person. <laughs> he did. He bought me tickets to, to a, an, ice an ice show. And um, skating. It was really more of a skating. It was ice skating, yeah. And he hid the clues uh, all over. Like some of them were in books and some of them were, were in different places until I actually got the gift. I didn't know what I was going to get. And it was tickets to that. And I don't know how you did that either because we did not have much money. No, and those are expensive. Those, yeah, but that was back in the day when you could actually attend things for a decent price. I think they were like 20 or 30 dollars a piece they weren't that much nowadays you pay 70 dollars a piece for something like that yeah stuff Three like that dollars. is so expensive that i don't know how people afford to take yes. their family and i feel sorry uh to for people who who they want to do things with the family it's hard to do things with the family because it's so expensive or you want to take in a little culture like maybe you want to go to a concert or something like that well, you can't i mean talking about a, not a rock concert but like a no like the like symphony a, yeah or mozart in the park or some well mozart in the park's free but you know what i mean other but, things yeah like you want to go to the opera house and see a play or something you can't afford it no and then but then they talk about how um the culture, we're, we're getting a culture slide as far as the arts go, and we're not uh, appreciating the arts and stuff. That's well, why. you got to make the arts a little cheaper, and people yeah. can afford it. Exactly. Know? We just can't afford it. There's just, there's just uh, no way. Although I've told you all before, if Hamilton ever comes, I've got Hamilton. We're gonna, good. we're gonna go to Hamilton. Uh, of course, it's gonna be a traveling version, so the sets won't be as good, but they'll be still be good. Because Wicked was pretty daggone good. Wicked was really and it good. Was yeah. Yeah, and it was it was well. I would do that one again. I would I would go, oh, I would see, go Wicked see Wicked again. Wicked. And Ashley loved it too. Yeah. She she. I tell you what. If ever comes, I need to get tickets for her. Uh, what is that Seymour? Oh, a Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop of Horrors. It's Ashley's favorite. It's Ashley's favorite musical. If they ever come, um, then uh, we have to get tickets for her to see Little. Oh my goodness, we're at at home and there are geese. Look, oh, right there. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting them on camera. There's Hold a, on. There's a car. We're talking to you. Hello, you're a long way from the cemetery. <laughs> Did you get lost? Did you get lost? They almost look like they're made out of plastic, don't they? Yeah. We're at at home, and it, that is adorable. That is so cute. They're little bunny bottoms. That is so cute. So they've gotten uh, more Easter stuff out at at home, and I honestly don't remember if I showed you any of this stuff or not. I keep thinking back to at Christmas, uh, the FAO short stuff was over here. These are really popular this year. The green? Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at him, he's in a boat. A carrot boat. <laughs> these are just to hang outside, I guess. This turtle. I don't like these bunnies, they're stiff. It is stiff. I like those. That's cool if you wanted to kind of a... For the back porch or something? Yeah, hanging on your porch. I think we looked at some of this stuff, but it was in the other area. It was back uh, in this next section when we saw it. This is all like beachy stuff. Well, that, but it might be on back. I don't know. This is a bird feeder, and it yeah, it's hard. And I guess you put the bird seat around the side, and you hang it up. Yeah, that's cute. And they have different, they have three different colors. They have green and blue and pink. I guess you put plants. They have some gnomes. Go the wedding one. That's cute. But they've got a lot of uh, outdoor furniture in here. So if you're looking for some outdoor. Yeah. They haven't gotten everything out though.
Oh, the hedgehogs. Well, it is cute. Those aren't as cute. They have snails too. This, did you see the snail? One of Ashley's snails outside of her house uh, broke. A look at these gnomes. They have a mayor, and they did male and female. Mm -hmm. They have like a doctor up there, chef. a chef, a firefighter. Those are cute. <laughs> look at the big snail, Kevin. Uh, yeah, it's a little too big. You don't think she would like that? Uh, what's she she teacher? is a teacher. It's yeah, a <laughs> yeah. I think she's a You're teacher. A <laughs> Do you not think she would like it's, that? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's not. Uh, I thought it was concrete. No, it would be. No wonder it's. Yeah, yeah. No wonder it's only thirty dollars. Don't worry about it. It's not that cute to me. Oh, they have military ones. I was wondering what those were. I had yeah, those are military gnomes. I'm I'm looking for another Annabelle Lee like for the backyard. I like these better than them. The unpainted? Yeah. They blend in more, don't they? Oh, I like, I like those. Yeah, there's your big Put a big line on them. That's like the shape there. The frog's cute. You see the yoga ball frog? <laughs> Those are funny. What's this a lizard? What is that? Oh, it is a lizard. Iguana. It's an iguana. <laughs> you know what I didn't see? Uh, because I just always think of I always think of Jennifer. I didn't see any roosters or chickens or anything. Huh? Yeah, I saw a pig. These rabbits are cute. They're very light, very lightweight. I, I can't imagine those lasting very long. Look, you're supposed to put these down for like pave, like stone, like paver stones. Right. You know how many that would take? You know oh, it would cost you a fortune. And those are twenty. Yeah, twenty dollars. Yeah. Spend a fortune. Do you think those would last very long? Mama's doing yoga. That's funny. Somebody that had llamas would. I know, that's what I'm saying. I don't think, I don't know that they would last long. I like the sheep and boots. Aww. Uh huh. And then they have some angels. A butterfly. And it lights up. Yeah, it lights up. You'd never see that up there unless you did. Uh uh. Yeah, it looks like for like a wedding or something. Uh huh. It's pretty. It would save you a lot of work. They have all kinds of yeah. Uh huh. The forsythia. Yeah, I think this is where I bought it. Oh. Yeah, years I ago. Like, I like the ones with the little fire things. Like the little I do too. It's only twenty dollars. These are like little fake flower pots you can sit around, and then the stuff you hang around, the garden like stuff. Is this what Jennifer buys for like her topiaries? Is all this stuff? Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is this is where she buys it. I think she's bought some offline too, because she said it's cheaper. Yeah. But yeah, they also sell some topiaries here. Oh, that would be neat on the house. I like that one. Oh, 
turn the computer for back. I like these. I think these should be able to throw them out. Can you look at that butterfly? That's pretty. Yeah, that is pretty. It would take a certain house to have that. I think so too. I like the terrace, though. That's pretty cool. Too. I think if you had a little room that was decorated like a, just like a party room. Well, or if you had, I like that firefly looking thing. Um, this one. The butterfly? It has eyes. It's a butterfly. Uh, it's just, yeah, I guess Fireflies it is. Yeah, I guess it is a butterfly. Yeah, you're right. Uh, if you had a shed, you could put those on a shed. In the back. So this is in Party City and they have lots of Easter stuff. Oh, yeah, full Easter Bunny costume. Ooh, I like these. Yeah, those are pretty. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if they'd have anything different for Easter baskets. I mean, they do have some different things, but... I remember uh, my mom and dad getting me a uh, coloring book and crayons for my Easter basket. I do remember that. They have some big bunnies up there, too. Yesterday, we I went in a, a gas station, and Kevin sat out in the car, but I went in the gas station, and uh, as I was getting out of the car, Kevin said, oh, they sell Johnsonville brats in there, and... Um, like cooked. Like cooked Johnsonville brats. Where like, like if you go into like I guess a 7-Eleven or a Speedway or something like that, you can get you a hot dog or a piece of pizza or whatever. I personally have never eaten a gas station food. food. Yeah, I've never done that before. But what surprised me was, I told Kevin, it. Uh, I walked around and looked to see what they were selling in this place, and they had like a buffet it was like a buffet table because the reason i say buffet table is because it was open in the center to where like you could get food and you could walk all the way around the outside of it and what surprised me about it was that those johnsonville hot dogs brats whatever they were they're just like right there like like there's no screen like a what do they call sneeze that a guard. sneeze guard which is disgusting if you think about it there's no it's accurate there's no sneeze guard there's no coughing guard um there's nothing between you and those wieners you On could the little just roller cookers yeah you could just reach in there and grab you one so i was telling kevin about that and i said it really surprises me that they have them there to where there's no screen to protect you and kevin kevin commented i'm surprised that during the virus that they even allow you to do it which covid had never entered my mind when i was looking at them but yeah he's right because a lot of places aren't even selling like um like, like salad bars right salad bars or like fresh market you can't go get your own candy they have already bagged it up for right. you where you used to used to be able to get the amount you wanted they've already pre-bagged it for you i'm thinking about like salad bars and like frishes and some big boy and stuff you know they don't have a salad bar anymore it right. Is, you have to just order a salad. So it just surprised me that uh, that they actually had those and that they actually have them out in the open. I tell you what, it's still nothing surprised me surprises me more than like in the UK where the bread is just out in the open. <laughs> Not wrapped up around. No, like they just have you go in the supermarket and they the bread. Now 
they may have started covering it since COVID, and we haven't been there since what 2019. But you could go in any in these grocery stores, and the bread's just like if you wanted a roll or whatever or a certain type of bread, yeah, it's just as long as it wasn't sliced. Yeah, it's just laying there for you to for anybody to cough on, sneeze on, whatever. So it just I can picture me. over here people just reaching out there and feeling the bread to see which one's soft and touching ten of them. They would do that. They would do that over here. They would do that, or they would let their kids do that the kids would run up and oh, the God. kids would <laughs> so yeah it just surprised me that um that there was just no guard between because anybody there's no telling who's been in there breathing all over those things and coughing we hear people all over the stores coughing and hacking yeah and then you're supposed to go in there and get one of those to eat that just doesn't even sound tempting to me it's cooked in yeah. You know, the germs are cooked in. I, I, and I think a lot of people think that. Uh, but to me, it was just gross. And uh, yeah, it's just gross. It is Sunday morning, and I want to show you the sky. Try to zoom in a little bit better. We have, um, we've actually come over to Meyer. The time changed last night. So it's 745. It would have been 645, uh, but we have, we've sprung forward. Uh, you spring forward and uh, or fall back. So we've sprung forward and so it's 745 and we've come over to Meyer in Lexington. And the reason we've come over to Meyer is because we're getting dry ice because we're going to Jungle Gems. So Jungle Gems, it's, it's like, two and a half hours away from here so we leave early we leave early we've we always go on a sunday morning <laughs> anytime we go it's on a sunday morning because the traffic is less at that time it's much lighter so all during the week uh the interstates are packed with people going into cincinnati and there's a bridge and it's just it's just bad, bad traffic. So all week you have people going to work. And then on Saturday, of course, you have people doing things for the weekend, shopping, whatever. And so this is the day that we have found that the traffic is overall much, much lighter. So we just happened to be over here at Meyer. We're in Lexington. We just happened to be over here yesterday. And Kevin said, I'm going to, because we knew we were planning on going to Jungle Gems today. Kevin said, I'm going to go ahead and check that freezer of dry ice to make sure they have plenty. And uh, so he said they had half a freezer yesterday, so he wasn't worried about it. But we have two, um, two big freezer bags, and I think we bought them at Costco way back. But uh, they're really nice, and so we have two big freezer bags, and then we have a cooler. And so... Kevin plans to buy two hunks of dry ice, and um, he'll break one of them in half so that we'll actually have three hunks because they charge you by the pound. And um, it's not cheap, but I tell you what, it's absolutely worth it because when you're going to be traveling um, for several hours, you don't want to depend on just regular ice. I mean, we've done that before, and you can do that. But we want to be able to get ice cream, and you can't, um, you can't depend on ice is not the best when you're traveling that long. So we've done that many times when we're coming over to Lexington, and if we're going from Lexington back to Winchester, you know, then we'll just get ice if we're getting ice cream or ice cream bars or something like that. But. Uh, to go for two hours, you really, really, really need to buy some dry ice because otherwise you're just wasting your money because the stuff's going to be, uh, the stuff's going to be so soft. So Kevin must have got the dry ice. He's putting it in the trunk now and we'll be on our way. But I had to show you that sky because it is absolutely gorgeous. WKRP
just left Jungle Jams, and what time do you think we got there? I always mean to look it's at like the time. It didn't take us as long to get there as I said. I think I said when Kevin went in uh, Meyer to get the dry ice, I think I said it took like two hours. It huh? does from our house, but we were leaving from Lexington, so it took. 128 or something like that yeah so it yeah but if you had gone from our house it would have been two hours but we um i didn't film anything in there i've done a whole jungle gems tour if you're interested in watching that um, i'll tell you how much we spent though we actually didn't spend as much as we've spent the last few times we spent 489.73 um but what's funny is we passed I've been looking for these jelly beans at Walgreens. They're Dunkin' Donuts jelly beans. And they're supposed to be a Walgreens exclusive. Well, I've been checking our Walgreens at least once a week. The Walgreens in Winchester, several Walgreens in Lexington. So I'm checking constantly for these Dunkin' jelly beans. And the whole time we were on our way here, I told Kevin, I said, I'm looking for a Walgreens so that I can see if, you know, since we're in Ohio, uh, is Ohio gonna have the, the Dunkin' Jelly Beans? We just stopped, they don't have them either. It, it looks like they have a place for them, but they just have not made it here yet. It's just, um, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I mean, and it, what is bad is like, when a store does have an exclusive like that, you would think all the stores would have them and then they don't just like the oreo cookies the what were they strawberry donut yeah. walmart was supposed to have them a limited special like exclusive sales for like the first week and then afterwards they were going to be able to be um, in all the other stores well guess what our walmart never did um have them still, does. still doesn't have them <laughs> and we ended up buying those things at meyer so it's all fine if these companies want to make deals with the stores and they can actually get them to the stores my problem is don't say that it's an exclusive and then not have it. I mean, literally no Walgreens around us have those jelly beans. So, if you're wondering why we haven't reviewed them, that would be why. Um, also, we were surprised uh, when we went in Jungle Gems. Um, there is, we've tried all the Motor City pizzas. So, we were going to look for, um, there's one that's just like, we've had like the cheese bread one, but there's one that's just like a three cheese or something like that, but it's a pizza. Um, we have not been able to find that. They don't sell any Motor City pizzas at all in Jungle Gems. Um, they have who knows. Um, they had last time we were here we bought this e weddle brand candy bars and they were absolutely fantastic candy bars they didn't have any of those candy bars this time um what else was i thinking i could get well but i mean i wasn't necessarily going in there for those candy bars i was just looking for them to see if they had added anything new and they didn't have them at all i tell you something else they're running really low on is stonewall kitchen that uh peach amaretto jam uh or preserves or whatever they're called i think it's peach amaretto jam that i like i can buy it at the fresh market and i don't mind buying it at the fresh market at all yeah uh, yeah i usually buy like six jars of it at one time um but I was going to, since we're, we were already there, I thought I'll just pick me up some while we're there. And they did not have any of the peach amaretto. And as a matter of fact, they're running very, very low um, on the supply that they do have. So I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to get rid of what they have before they get new in, but they just didn't have a ton to choose from. Uh, but right now, traffic, I have to say, on the way, traffic was heavier than it has been uh, the past few times that we've come. And so now, we're heading back, and um, I've asked Kevin if we could stop in a store. Uh, they have a store called uh, Christmas Tree Shops, and I have never been in a Christmas Tree Shops before at all. They have one located in Florence, Kentucky. So, Kevin has it set up the map on his phone to get us from here to 
uh, the Christmas tree shops. So I'm really excited about getting to go there for the first time. We're not going to stay in there a terribly long time just because um, I do have uh, some cold stuff in the back that I didn't want to put on dry ice because it's just refrigerated. But I still have in a cold bag. But anyway, that's where we're headed now. So if you've never seen a Christmas tree shops, this is what it looks like. This is the one in Florence and we've already been in. We were in there for probably what, Kevin? 10 minutes? 10 or 15 minutes, that's it? There's no Christmas shop. Um, no, <laughs> no. I think, did you think there was gonna be? If it says a Christmas shop and it has a Christmas tree on the front in the logo, there should be some form of Christmas stuff. Well, let me just tell you, they had some adorable it is little, uh, Fourth of July. Like outside stuff. Outside stuff. I mean, you could put them inside, but they had some adorable Fourth of July stuff. So, how much did we spend in there? Um, I don't care. We were in there for all of 10 minutes, and I don't know how much we spent, and I put the receipt in the bag, it's behind me. But we, I'm thinking we spent probably 40-something dollars. Uh, we bought a bunch of food, and that's exactly why I went in there. So, the we, same we bought, um, uh, we bought, uh, food in Jungle Gems, and then we bought food in there. But now they had some potato chips. If you, whenever you uh, watch the grocery haul, um, I'll do a haul for uh, Jungle Gems and this Christmas tree shops all by itself. Uh, but they had a potato chip brand in there that I've never seen before. It was called Martin's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Martin's. And to Dapper Dan, and Dapper Dan had sent us a bunch of different Howl's chips from New York. They had one kind in there. What Do you remember what flavor it was? Was it just regular? No, they had two. They had two different bags. Two different bags. Yeah, I don't know which one it was. But um, we have reviewed them thanks to Dapper Dan. So, uh, yeah, we were able to, to just bypass those. But we did find some other stuff besides chips. But I thought it was neat that they had that Martin's brand because we've never seen them at all. So now we're getting back onto the interstate. That, that was weird just now. Did what you was weird? That? What was weird? When we got off on the interstate, we went straight to that road and went there. When we got off there, we went off that road and it went straight on the interstate. I mean, like you're like the store was on the exit ramp almost. That was just yeah. weird. There was no turning on or turning anywhere else. We were just like here. Well, traffic is uh, much busier on the way home than it is going. So yeah, it always is. It's 1.38 in the afternoon. I wanted to show you what I'm giving my sister for her birthday. Today's her birthday, and uh, somehow between her last move and where she's living now, she lost her Yahtzee game, and she and my aunt love to play Yahtzee, and so I bought her a Yahtzee game, and I hope she did not buy one for herself. <laughs> if she did, she's going to have another one, and I bought this candle. Let's see if I can get it out of the package. I bought it from this place. They have these Beetlejuice looking bags. I love, I love the bag. But this is a, a Candleberry candle and this is called Warm Caramel Brulee. And it smells absolutely fantastic. Um, 
Oh gosh, it smells, um, it smells kind of nutty, but it also smells incredibly sweet. And that's something, um, my sister loves candles and, uh, that's something you can always get her that she will appreciate, uh, because she always, anytime I go over to her house, she has a candle burning. So I know she'll love this. We are on our way to Lexington. But we're doing something different today. Today we're we not are shopping. Yeah. Well. No, we're not shopping. Damn it. <laughs> what he doesn't know is that I am gonna ask him to go in some place while we're over here. Huh? All the How did you know? Because it's places close by. Somebody had asked me, they had left me a comment saying, are you going to try any of the Easter stuff for Aldi? Well, we haven't been to Aldi in weeks, so, and I figure, honestly, I figured we had probably already reviewed all the Easter stuff they have at Aldi. I figure it's probably going to be the same stuff year after year, but I do think they have a couple of new things, so um, I have a whole playlist that says, Aldi brands and in that playlist you're gonna see Christmas you're gonna see Easter you're gonna see all these holiday things so um, if you don't see something in the grocery haul that from Easter that you thought that uh, I should review then it's probably I've probably already reviewed it so but we I do want to stop at Aldi while we're over here but anyway what we're going over here for is uh, we are getting our real IDs today. So can you explain what a real ID is? It's just a more verifiable identification like your driver's license. So like if you're in another country though. Um, the real ID I think is a nation, uh, uh, worldwide thing I think. It may be called something different but it's an ID that basically says this is you. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that. I didn't I'm, know it was. I thought it was. Maybe it's only in the United States. I thought it was for, um, you had to have it for international type stuff. I don't know. Maybe and I'm now wrong. that I'm thinking about it, I wish, you know, when we met, like, that would have been neat when we met up with Jennifer and Nathan and Mike. And the first year we went, we met up with Silke and Stefan. It would have been neat to have said, hey, can we see your license? What do they give you? Because Silke is in Germany. And then Jennifer, uh, Nathan, Mike, Luke, they're all in the UK. It would have been neat. Of course, they may not drive. Well, um, so they probably have some kind of ID. I know Mike drives because he was an instructor. Yeah. They, they may not have driver's license, but they would have some kind of ID. Right, yeah. right, but I would like to see actually what you need to drive. Yeah. Um, because that's what we're doing. This is, um, mine expires. My driver, regular driver's license expires this month. And it's because, honestly, it did expire my birth month, January. But then, it was in my, I think the last time I was supposed to get it renewed, well, I never look at that. I, my driver's license, never look at it. So it was two months expired last time I got it renewed. That's why it's in March now, because whenever you get it renewed, it's like four years after that month. So last time I got it renewed was in March. So now it's every time, like every four, six years, whatever it is. In I'm March. thinking these last like eight years. I hope so. I think so. I, I can't swear to that, but I'm thinking they do. Um, but the real ID, these are um, IDs that you can actually use when you are uh, getting on a, like an airplane. Yeah, so, not for international. It's all for domestic. It's all for domestic. That means in the United States. And so, they, you don't have to have a real ID. You can have a passport. We do already have passports. But anybody that has a passport knows that you don't want to take your passport with you if you don't have to because it's something you don't ever want to lose it you don't want to just leave it laying anywhere because you don't want it to get taken or stolen or whatever and there's a lot of information yeah in there's a, yes so it's a lot easier like if we decided we wanted to go to florida or las vegas or california or wherever it's a lot easier for us to just carry that one little 
slim license, that real ID that it would be to take this whole this book, this passport, uh, because this is something small that'll fit in your billfold or wallet, whereas your passport, you, you can't put that in there. Uh, so that is what we're going to get today. Now, for anybody who's curious, what all do, do we have with us to take, to show like- oh, I don't know. You don't know what all uh, we have? have to, do we have to have you, three forms? You have to have your, your old driver's license. That's one proof of ID. Okay. Uh, we're taking out our passports. Okay. If you don't have your passports, there was something else you could take in to prove something to. I don't remember. There's a whole list of things. And right. on their website, it gives you like a checklist and you just maybe put, um, you click in the boxes and say which ones you're going to use. So it's really easy. But uh, passports, social security card for you. I can't use my social security card because it's laminated. Don't ask. It's a long story. Um, yeah. <laughs> He laminated, but I laminated his, mine basically. And once you've laminated your social security card, yeah, it's it basically says, invalid. It even says on there, do not laminate, but I didn't know that at the time. So, but anyway. Um, and then you have to have um, uh, a W-2 or, or um, a W-2 a W for your taxes. And, Don't you uh, have to have proof of where you live? Yeah, you have to have proof of residency. So you have to have like one or two copies of like a utility bills or something with your name on it that has your current address on it. So, yeah. So we're going to do that now. They only take uh, debit cards, uh, right? Credit cards. Yeah, debit and credit cards right now. So that is what we're off to do, and I'll let you know when we're finished. So this is the building that we went in to, uh, to get our uh, real ID. And I think it's the only one in Lexington doing it. So what we did was we, we had an appointment. We had, we had scheduled appointments online. But then, um, as we drop by, I'll show it to you better. There's the building, and there's people standing out front. Uh, but what we did was we went online and we made an appointment online, and Super it was real. Yeah, it was really easy. Kevin made an appointment for both of us at the same time, and so when we got there, there's a line of like walk-up people. And then there's a line of people that have appointments. So there's a lady there with a clipboard and she asked us if we had an appointment and we told her yes. And so we got in a line with the people that have appointments. And um, so we probably stood outside for, ugh, are we gonna scrape? No. We probably stood outside for like 15 minutes. It seemed like yeah, a while um, and it's cold. So my first recommendation would be to do this uh, when the weather's nicer and don't if you know it's gonna like snow or something you know I wouldn't do it then because you're waiting outside um, but, uh, but we you have to schedule like uh, a good three weeks beforehand yeah so you don't know if it's gonna rain or anything like that and if it does you better just take an umbrella because you're gonna be outside uh, so they call you in and then of course we had all of our paperwork and they take your picture they have they had me take off my glasses which surprised me uh but they have you take off your mask of course Is your passport picture of your glasses you know no i think my passport picture i had it all i my, think so too because they don't want to cover up anything yeah i just i wear my glasses all the time so i just thought that i would be wearing my glasses and she when she told me to take them off it just surprised me but anyway you uh you can either um get it for four years and then have to renew it or eight years it's just cheaper it's cheaper to get it for four years but why if you can get it for eight years why wouldn't you because that you don't have to literally don't have to go back in for eight years and get anything done so of course we signed up for eight years or i did i signed up for eight years um kevin's isn't due for renewal until next year. So Kevin just basically was signing up for the real ID, but he'll still have to go back in in next June and he will have to get his renewed. Uh, they won't let you re they won't let you do it early. So um yeah, you can't change your your renewal dates. Right. So his renewal isn't due it's it's 2022. So um 
he just his was only like fifteen dollars today basically he's just signed up for the real id he got the real id but she said you also wouldn't need all that paperwork when you right renew. so next year i can just take that real id in and they'll update to another real id exactly so you don't have to have all that stuff uh but they uh, she said they would have accepted his laminated um, social security yeah card. she said ah, we would have taken she said yeah we would have taken that um but we thought, because what we're used to in our town, when you go to get your driver's license renewed, they give it to you right then. We're used to having it in hand. Uh, so we thought we were going to get it today, but you don't. You get it within, what'd she say, 30 days? days? With 15 days. Oh, I, see, I thought she said 30. I, thought 50. Um, I could be wrong, though. Or maybe she said if you don't have it in 30, that you could call that number. Yeah. I don't know. Well, no, no, what she said was, is that temporary license is good it's good for 30 days or something yeah and then it, but you should get it within 15, 15. okay because they gave you paperwork to show i guess if you get temporary. pulled over yeah. or something like that um so we will actually be getting it in the mail so uh right now we're going to we haven't been over to the cemetery in forever so i thought we would uh, come over to the cemetery while we were it's right down the street so we're in the cemetery and we've already gone back to mom's grave, but I wanted to show you this is what it looks like when they're preparing before a funeral. They're gonna have two funerals in here today. They're working on the other one right now. And so the actual hole is over here that they dug. And then uh, this is this is what goes in the hole in it, Kevin, to lower it. This is what lowers the casket down in the ground. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like. This is from uh, Nuts and More, and it, I know that um, Valerie sent me a message, and I had talked about uh, Nuts and More. Uh, this was the brand that we saw at the vitamin shop. Oh, and it was really expensive. Yes, it was like twelve or thirteen dollars. We didn't know if he'd like it. So. And so it's like I was already spending a lot of money in there, and so I didn't want to spend twelve or thirteen dollars a piece. So Valerie was nice enough to order us some. So thank you so much. Um, this is the chocolate maple pretzel. And this is the birthday cake. It says nuts and more, more is better. These are a protein superfood, clean and indulgent peanut spread. So, and if you're wondering about the calories, the calories for two tablespoons of this is the same as a two tablespoons of Jif peanut butter. So it's, it's the same thing. So uh, 190 calories. But um, yeah, we'll definitely be reviewing those and I very much appreciate this uh, from Valerie. And it stays good for a long time. It, it's good for over a year. Oh wow. Well. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. I wonder if you have to put it in the refrigerator once you open it. I'm sure it'll say somewhere on here. But now we have a box um, so good you'll want to eat it right off the spoon. Oh yeah, that's how we're going to try it, right off the spoon. Um, oh wow, good grip. They sent us a whole display. This one's from something Joanne sugar. Joanne Torello, Sugar Rainbow Company. This is in Orangeburg, New York. So and look, nice. we have a whole display. Oh my There's gosh. There's no note in here. So. Linda's lollies, gourmet lollipops. Oh wow, okay. That's Ooh, what are those? Is it Cuddly? Cuddly's? Cuddly's. C-U-G-L-I-E-S, Cuddly. It's like a sucker with uh, something in the middle. I don't know what the little bowl is. It says Cuddly's lollipop with surprise figure. Oh. So there's a figure so, so in there. So this is the sucker and inside this has got something oh, inside. Oh, how sweet. cool. Well, and that's a bunch of, those look like those gourmet lollipops is what those look like. Yes, they do. Uh, listen to the Because I used to love those. Uh, bubble gum, root beer float, uh, blue raz watermelon, watermelon, pina colada, mint chocolate chip, Cotton candy, berry berry, wild cherry, pirate punch, rainbow sherbet, 
strawberry, juicy grape, raspberry lemonade, mocha cappuccino, green apple, mango chili, and blueberry muffin. So um, one of every flavor. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's multiples of some of these. Oh, okay. Like two cotton candy, I two berry you. berry, two power punch. So some of them there's only one. Some of them there's more than one. Uh, but I have not. These are by Yolo Candy. I like that, YOLO. Um, and uh, so we have not seen this brand around here at all. Definitely haven't seen those around here. So uh, yeah, we'll this definitely is, do a review of them. I think that's YOLO Candy as well. Yeah, go to YOLOCandy.com yeah. for more. Oh, and there's the little figures. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the Eighteen figures. different figures. Yeah, there's like little animals in there. So, when we review them, we'll get to open them up. And yeah, and then we'll see. give them to the grandkids. Probably. Yeah, we'll get to see the mystery figure. Uh, but we'll definitely, yeah, do a review of all of these too. So, thank you all very much. So, Kevin didn't notice when he took these out of the box. This was in the, was it in the floor, Kev? Yeah, I mean, I think with the wrapping, those, the, the stuffing. Okay, the packing. The packing yeah, this was in there, so we didn't see. Uh, this says, hi Tammy and Kevin, my name is Joanne Torello from Sugar Rainbow Company. I really enjoy your family YouTube food reviews and was hoping you could try and review Linda's Lolly's Gourmet, Lollipops, and Cuggly's, both made by Yolo Candy. See, we figured it out. <laughs> um, Linda's Lollies are the original gourmet lollipop with over, over 35 years of premium quality heritage. Each of the 18 different gourmet flavors is specially crafted to deliver superior flavor intense, intensity. Uh, Papa Luza Cuddly's edition featured delicious lollipops with a surprise cuddly figure hidden inside its specially designed handle. Collect all 18 cuddly figures. I like it how they have 18 flavors, and I guess that's why they have 18 animals to go with each one. Um, and I wonder if they know. Like, did they plan that all the cotton candies are going to have a kitty cat in it? Or all the watermelon are going to have a dog in it? Uh, but this is what they look like. Um, this is what the animals look like. So anyway, we will definitely be giving these a try. Uh, we will probably do, there will be several reviews of, of these, I'm sure. We won't do them all in one since there's so many flavors. We'll do several and then we'll do all these in one review as well. I'm going to end the vlog right after this because I, I think it's already an hour long. Uh, we've had a lot going on during the vlog this week. Uh, but I, I wanted to, I got a box in the mail today from Becky and I wanted to show you what she sent us. She sent us this Easter card with Snoopy on it, which I love. And she sent us this. This is uh, hanging with my friends. It says it is an egg shaped sugar cookie. Mm. So we haven't had that. And it says um, it from Walgreens. So I will probably uh, put that with something else that we have uh, for Easter and review that. But she also, now we have reviewed the Frankfurt, uh, the Fruity Pebbles. Uh, we've had the, the bar. We've had this exact, these exact same things uh, just in like bar form or different shapes. I think this one may have been out at Christmas as a snowman or something like that. But they're both delicious. And so Becky said, well, I'm going to, I want to send them to you anyway. I think she said she doesn't like white chocolate. But... We will be reviewing the uh, the Sour Patch. I do have that one. So, um, but I thank you very much, Becky. And then she also sent us a Monopoly Deal. It is a card game, which we have never played mm -hmm. that before. Um, and we love card games. Like card games. So, yeah, Kevin would rather play a card game than a board game. For me, I just like all kinds. Well, we talked about games for a at length at the beginning of this vlog. And we didn't even hit on a lot of them. So, and then she sent um, Gavin and Amelia some goodies for um, Easter. Uh, so thank you very, very much, Becky. We appreciate it. Um, and then I do not know what this is or who it is from or anything. It came from, somebody ordered it off of eBay, but there's no name or anything like that on it. Okay. Uh, to know who, who actually ordered it. There's no name on it. Well, it came from the person from eBay. 
So oh. the person, whoever ordered it, would have had to have told you I sent you something. You see what I'm saying? Do you think you know what it is? It says Starbucks. Oh, did you see that? I did. The box says Starbucks. Oh, I see the reason. Oh, it is. You know what? Now you got it. Um, I think I know who sent this. Once I find out for sure, I will put your name on the screen here. I'm almost positive I know who sent this. But I don't know what it is. I know it's... Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Is South Korea? Yes. Yes, yeah, South Korea. Yes. You want to keep the box, don't you? Do you? Um, uh, yes. Um... That's pretty. Yes, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have to get a, uh, I'll get a close up of this uh, because this mug, I've never seen a Starbucks the colors. mug like this. Well, that one from, um, yes, the but, other one from, yes, but that one, I, this one I'm saying, that one was different. It, it was, was different. It wasn't that color. Hang on and I'll show you uh, a close up of it. So this cup is from Alicia. I wanted to make sure I said Alicia's name because uh, when I opened, this is the other mug that I opened from Alicia, which I absolutely love. Uh, this is from uh, Seoul, Korea. And so this is from South Korea. And I want you to look. This, uh, the box on this says 2013. So I'm wondering if this is my oldest Starbucks mug, which is amazing absolutely look at i mean this looks like a painting it's absolutely gorgeous i love this i love the colors i'm all about colorful things and uh, so this is absolutely beautiful alicia thank you so much um i really appreciate that that looks like they have uh, watermelons so they i wonder if they grow a lot of watermelons I'm just crazy about this though. But the, yeah, the box, the box, uh, this is it. And um, yeah, it, it has uh, 2013 on the back of it. So that's, uh, I bet you anything, that would be uh, my oldest Starbucks mug. So thank you very much. Um, like I said, I'm gonna end the vlog here uh, for the week. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you could hang in till the end. I know it was long and we'll see you next week.